Welcome or welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be installing the iTech World 40 amp control hub kit. Before we get started, I'm gonna run you through what's in the kit. So the main power of the, of the show is the iTech Weld 200SS lithium battery with Bluetooth connectivity, 200 amps of power, uh, and this will slot right in uh, really nicely into the car. We've also got the iTech Weld control hub uh, with the 40 amp DC to DC charger. It's got rocker switches for your accessories. It's also got two 12 volt uh, outlets, one USB, it's then got uh, USB-C and fast charging USB there. It's got all your fuses and it's also got a display screen for your state of charge. Now, how are we gonna connect that all up? We've got a wiring kit. This, is, this comes pre-installed with a three-piece Anderson plug. Now, what that does is that goes right into the, the side of your uh, box here, your control hub, uh, making it really easy to install. All you have to do is connect it up to your main battery in your car. We've also got these uh, cables, wiring cables, to be able to uh, connect these two up together. Now, full disclaimer, I'm no auto sparky, um, not even a tradie, uh, but this kit makes it really simple for anyone to be able to put it in. Uh, so if you are worried about anything to do with connecting it up or, or not really confident, then I would go to an expert. One little thing that, that I'd like to, to add to this video is that I'm only able to do this because when we started traveling, I did a lot of the installs, uh, which made me much more confident to put it all in. So that's one tip is if you're gonna go and do a trip, do it all yourself or do as much as you can yourself. So if something breaks down out there, you know how to fix it. First things first is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install both of these before I connect them up. That's gonna make it easier to know where my length of wire is. Radio. so this is gonna sit up here. Uh, it is 25 kilos, so make sure wherever you do put it that uh, it's probably supported because 25 kilos is a, is a fair bit. Uh, the good thing is though, if it was an AGM, it would be a lot more. Radio, time for the control hub. To access the holes at the back of the control hub, we just need to take the top off. As simple as four screws. They give you this Allen key for it. One thing is, don't lose the screws. All right, let's put them somewhere safe. I reckon in the, in this, in the sky rocket, we'll be safe enough. All right, as we open it up, we've got all the cabling there. Nice thick cabling. So we shouldn't have too many problems. As you can see, we've got our four holes there and there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put, pop this up and do the exact same thing as we did with the battery uh, and mark out the holes and drill the take it off, drill the holes and put it back on. All right, so we've got them installed now. And the next thing to do is to wire up the car. Now, we've got this three pin Anderson plug. We're gonna take that off. And we're gonna feed it through the firewall into our charger here. So we've poked a little bit of wire through the grommet. We've attached it up. And now we're gonna pull it through. Easier, Zach? Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. What would you say is the trickiest part? Just running this through the car. After that, it's going to be a matter of just putting a couple of bolts in. And is it easy to pull your car, to, car apart or is there lots of screws? No, it's all just uh, plastic. 
So we've got the cable running through under this. This plastic will go back on. So I'm just gonna put that plastic back on. Uh, cable running through. Through the front seat as well. Same thing, plastic will go back on. I've got a little bit of excess here. What I'll do is fold that up so that uh, it's tucked away nicely and we won't see it. Right, now we've got that all connected. What we're gonna do now is connect the, the new battery to the control hub. So we've got our cable. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go red to red, black to black to join these two up. Now we've got this all wired up, the control hub, time to put onto the battery. If I can find my bloody screws. So we are, we're at 100%. Now we've got to plug in the alternator Anderson plug, see if we fire up. There's the install done. Pretty easy install really for someone who's not a tradie, not an auto sparky. Uh, pretty easy for anyone to do. This is gonna change the way we do our full driving. It's gonna mean uh, less time worrying about where our power is gonna come from uh, and less time worrying about how we're gonna charge the batteries that we've got. If you wanna see how this system goes, uh, like and subscribe because we're gonna be, we're traveling full time uh, and we're gonna give it a fair old workout. See you in the next one.